So hey everyone, uh, this is ArachnaTube, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm Gar, I hope you know that. <laughs> I've got uh, a rehousing video uh, on a different scale to like uh, a normal rehousing video. Now, normally I'd film this intro and then do my spoiler stuff uh, and then do an outro. Kind of a natural progression, but this time I've already done it. And now I'm filming a uh, an intro for it because this rehousing doesn't go to plan again. So it's nothing bad, don't worry, but please watch. Um, I'm going to rehouse and steal an egg sack from the Dolomedes Triton. So uh, the little fishing spider I had that's got an egg sack. Now, this is fun. And uh, I actually did a little bit of a panic. A little bit of a panic. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, and wait till the end as well. I'm going to put some bonus footage of behind the scenes stuff of when uh, the other day when I went looking for Dolomedes plantarius, the fen raft spider. So stick till the end. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> Subscribe and like and all that kind of jazz. Please. Okay, peeps, what we have here on my <laughs> rednecked kind of uh, pew or stand. This is a square tarantula room enclosure. And I have uh, that Dolomedes Triton that I need to, um, to rehouse really. I was leaving it off because she's got an egg sac, but she, the egg sac will hatch at any time now. So I want to kind of put it in here. I'm going to um, steal the egg sac because I have a feeling that if I pop her in here, she'll either dump the egg sac into this water bowl that I've done here, water bowl, swimming area we'll call it, or she'll eat it. So really super simple, uh, just coil your substrate up to here. I've actually used one of the um, coconut hides that, they, that the frogs are gonna have. Then I've got some magnolia leaves, uh, some oak leaves, uh, the water itself is looking brown, right, and it looks a bit like tea. That's because um, it's basically capata. It's got Indian almond leaf in it, so that, that's um, a natural antibiotic. And we're going to pop her in here, but let's first of all, I, I was going to show you me building this, but it's so simple. Literally, pop some dirt in it, stick a coconut in it, put some leaves in it, and that's it. <laughs> So, you know, you get it. You're not dumb, people. That's easy. Let's um, steal this egg sack off, uh, off this little Dolomedes Triton. So here she is. She's just got the egg sack in here. There we go, so, right there you can see it. Now, from experience of having other Dolomedes, uh, like the Okifinokensis, I can never say it straight away, Okifinokensis, the uh, Florida one. Once they start going in a little yellow colour, they look more fluffy, they are about to, about to hatch anyway. So let's steal that. Now these are super quick, alright, so before you steal this kind of egg sack, you're going to need a couple of things. Now I want a little catch cup for the spider itself. But also as well, I want a little tub for the egg sac because last, if you look back at one of my videos, um, it's I think it's called egg sac hatches on my hand. I stole the egg sac from the Okifinokensis and the Okifinoki fishing spider, and as soon as I stole it, it started hatching. So we're going to be prepared this time. Last time I wasn't prepared. This time I'm going to be prepared. I think the easiest way all the time is to catch the female first, just in a catch cup like that, and then go from the underneath, just try and steal the egg sack off her. She really isn't, uh, oh, and it started hatching, shit. Okay. <laughs> so, um, So change of plan. 
Uh, there's a lot there. Okay. So we will keep them in that. Uh... Where should we go there? Uh, this always happens with these bloody Dolomedes, man. I tell you what we'll do. We will pop her into this one so it's a lot better uh, spacing. I'm going to see if I can get... Oh, she's kicking off. Look at that. How cool is that? I'm sorry I can't really get a better uh, angle on this for you. Maybe I can. Damn, I wish I had my phone with me now. I do. So she is in her house now. Cool, so this is behind the scenes shit. I'm uh, under a bridge at the moment, like a fucking troll. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, we're walking this canal and in all fairness, it uh, it's beautiful, it's glorious. It's going to take a lot of work. So, uh, it's June now. And uh, towards this month, towards the end of this month, especially, well, now till the end of July, really, is prime Dolomedes um, times for the adult females. So, I came up here the other day. Why is that? <laughs> Fucking thing locked. Oh. Right, so, no. So I came up here the other day and we found what looked like small ones. And uh, the small ones obviously turn into big ones. And they turn into big ones quite quickly. It's about 25 degrees here. So, needless to say, I'm sweating my balls off. And uh, like you can see, right, there's not really great access to the canal itself. Um, so, what I have to do is like, I'm every break in these kind of bushes and reeds and stuff, I have to just hope that something's going to be there so I'm walking the whole well I can't walk the whole length of the canal but I'm walking as much of the canal as I can do in uh, a couple of hours and uh, really just hoping for the best and uh, see like this uh, I keep going through this here so there's a gap there that's not too bad should be able to see in there but there's a, a few other breaks and stuff and this goes on for miles and miles and miles so I'm going to need a beer after this, definitely uh, there's another kind of break there, see? oh yeah, this is <laughs> I forgot to say this is day two of searching for the fen raft spider so Dolomedes plantarius uh, 
Uh, this spider is different to a lot of the other ones that we've got on our list. Reason being is that this one is uh, highly protected and it's uh, really critically endangered. So you're not allowed to mess with it, they're not allowed to move it, they're not allowed to get uh, too far that it's, I spook them. I've had to get a, uh, like a, like a telephoto lens so that I can uh, record them from quite a while away, a uh, while away, quite far away. And uh, that is, if I fucking ever find one, I'm not worried about this location at all or this spider really, because obviously it's so close to where I am that I could do this all summer. Uh, the other locations, they've got time limits on them, so I'll only have a day or two, you know, a couple of times maybe, so to find, record them, you know, do all that kind of jazz. So, um, yeah, uh, nothing today, so I'm from nothing, but apart from some like cool dragonflies, there's loads of dragonflies about, uh, so I mean, you know, heating up a bit. There's tons and tons and tons of like small insects and things on the top of the water, water boatmen, all that kind of stuff, so it's, it's really good for, it's a perfect location, do you know what I mean? Absolutely perfect. And uh, we we'll always move on to the next location now. Uh, I think it's going to be in a few weeks, and it will be um, Kent. So I'm off to Kent, and uh, I think Tarantula Dan is going to uh, going to join me. So that's going to be cool, you know to. Hang out with Dan again is wicked. And uh, it's going to be a night shoot as well. So I'm going to film all night and then have a bit of a sleepy in the van and then go out in the day, then the next day to uh, film all the, you know, all the location bits really so it's all nice, so it's not all in the dark for you guys to see. My only hope, really, or my only fear, is that someone does this shit before me. You know, I've got a history of uh, coming up with some cool ideas and uh, them being stolen on YouTube because I've opened my fat mouth and mentioned them. But uh, I've got one up on a lot of people. Is that I've got. A lot of free time. I mean, a lot of free time. And uh, loads of inclination to do it. So I'm going to a road now, so I don't think I should be filming. Hold on.